confided to friends that the return of Mr. Doherty to office would have meant the end of his Garda career in Boyle. The election is now history. And it appears Sean Doherty will not be returning as Minister for Justice. But many disturbing questions remain about his attitude to the Garda force and about the proper relationship between a Minister for Justice and the Guards. Tonight, we look closely at the case of Sergeant Tully, but it's only part of the case against the present minister, a case Mr. Doherty has thus far refused even to acknowledge. Will any one of you three candidates stand up in the town of Boyle or elsewhere and make an accusation in public and come out and show your faces and not the right? There has never been any question of me interfering with the duty of any member of the Guard of Shihana. I can at all times state that I have represented my constituents and their views to the Gardaí, to the health boards, to on board Planola, to various other bodies. But to suggest for a moment that I have ever politically interfered with any member of the Guard of Shihana in the course of this duty is an accusation that I reject. Our researches in Roscommon have been conducted over a period of several weeks. The evidence has given us a composite picture of what has been happening throughout the county. It suggests a pattern of wide-scale political intervention. Much of the action centres on Boyle, focal point of the struggle between the minister and the local sergeant, but also chief town in North Roscommon, the minister's political base. Mr Doherty's home, in fact, is in Coote Hall, six miles from Boyle. It's in the area of North Roscommon 